Hi everyone, today we're going to create a game called Arctic Tacos, which has points, a timer, dangerous jellyfish, and of course a floating taco. The goal of the game is to catch the taco as many times as possible without getting hit by the jellyfish, and you have 30 seconds to do that. Anyways, let's get started with today's game. Hey, if you're new to coding or you need a refresher, check out my Learn to Code videos on YouTube, which will get up to speed pretty quickly. I suggest you follow me and subscribe because I'll be posting videos quite regularly. Anyways, let's get going on Scratch. I'm already here at the Scratch website, scratch.mit.edu. I'm going to click the Create button because we're creating a brand new game today. If a tutorial pops up, you can exit the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. You can also say goodbye to the cat, so I'm going to click on the garbage can, goodbye cat. I'm going to go get a background that works for my game. Today I'm going to use one called Slopes. You can choose whatever one you want. I like Slopes for today's game. And I'm going to get a character. The character I'm going to use today is Taylor. And I suggest that you use either Taylor or Tatiana or Trisha because it's a bird's eye view of these characters. I think it works really well for these games uh, today. So I'm going to click on Taylor right here. Taylor's awfully big for this game, so I'm going to shrink him a little bit. Right now is 100%. So I'm going to make Taylor 50%. And then I'm going to code Taylor just the way we did last game using the up, down, left, and right arrow keys and that great way so that there's no lag and it works, works like a pro. So watch what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to go get if and touching. Let me make it a bit bigger so you can see at home. If touching, um, if touching the key space, and I'm going to make that the right arrow. If the right arrow key is pressed, then change X by 10. If the um, left arrow key is being pressed, left arrow key, change X by, you got it, negative 10. Negative 10. So if the right arrow key is pressed, change X coordinates by 10. If the left arrow key is pressed, changes X coordinates by negative 10. X's go left and right. The Y's go up and down, so I'm going to do that one next. So if, oops, and go to the sensing, the up arrow key is pressed. Change Y by 10. The Y's go up and down. I'm almost done this part. Thank you for your patience. This part takes a little while. Um, the down arrow key. Down. Change Y by negative 10. And I'm almost done again. Y by negative 10. And then I'm going to put a forever loop around the whole thing. And I'm going to put a green flag on top. So, when the green flag is clicked, the computer is checking to see if the right arrow key is pressed. If it is, the change X, change X by 10. So it goes to the right. If the left arrow key is pressed, change X by negative 10. If the up arrow key is pressed, change Y by 10. And if the down arrow key is pressed, change Y by negative 10. So that's great. Except one thing, he's not pointing in the right direction. He's always pointing this way. I want him to point in the right direction. So look at the last thing I'm going to do for this part. I'm going to go to the motion button. And I'm just going to make him point in the right direction. So right arrow key, point 90 this way. Perfect. Left arrow key, point negative 90. There, that direction. Up arrow key is pressed. Point upwards, and the down arrow key is pressed, point downwards. Okay, I'm going to pause there, let everybody catch up. If you get stuck, please, please take a look at my code, and when you're ready, I'll be here waiting for you for the next part. All right, so now let's set our points and our timer. And we do that with the variables button. So I'm going to go way over here to variables. Variables just means a number that can change. So our points are going to change and our timer is going to change their variables. 
So I'm going to click on variable and I'm going to make a new variable right there, variable. I'm going to call this one, whoops, I'm going to click it again. I'm going to call this one tacos and press OK. So there's tacos right there and I'm going to get the green flag and I'm going to set tacos to zero because we have zero taco points right now. So green flag variable set tacos to zero. Okay, there we go. Tacos is zero when the game starts. Perfect. Now I'm going to create another variable. This is our timer. So I'm going to click on make a variable and I call this one timer because we have 30 seconds for this game. So this is called timer. Great, right there. You can leave it there or you can move it around wherever you want. I'm going to, I'm going to put it over here. Okay, so now get another green flag uh, right there. Green flag, let's set the timer to 30 and then it's going to count down slowly all the way to zero and then game is over. So back to variables, set a timer to 30. Okay, so when the green flag is clicked, tacos goes to zero and the timer goes to 30. Let's just double check that. Okay, perfect, zero, and the timer's 30. Now let's code it so that the timer starts slowly counting down. Okay, so I'm gonna go get a repeat button. Uh, repeat, not 10 times, but repeat 30 times. 30 seconds, right, 30 times. And every time it repeats, it's going to change the variable, change timer by negative one. So it should go down negative one. Let's see if that works. Ready? Green flag and go. Oh my, it went down super fast. That's not good. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little wait in there. I'm going to go to the control. Wait one second. Then change the timer by negative one. So let's see if that works. Ready? Green flag. Okay, look, it's counting down. Perfect. So I set the timer to 30. And then for 30 repeats, it's going to wait a second, then change the timer by negative one. So it's going down by negative one. Okay, that's perfect. So last thing, when the timer gets down to zero, after it's repeated 30 times, everything is going to stop. The jellyfish are going to stop, the taco is going to stop, everything. So there's our next part. So I'm going to pause there and let everybody catch up. And again, I use the variables and I made a variable, I made two of them actually. I made one called tacos, you can see there. And I green flag, I set the tacos to zero. Then I made another variable called timer. And when the green flag is clicked, I set the timer to 30. And then I got 30 repeats and wait one second, change timer by negative one. So it's slowly counting down to zero. And when it's done, those 30 repeats, everything stops. So I'm gonna pause there. Let everyone catch up, and when you're ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting. Please take a look at my code if you get stuck, and I will see you shortly. Okay, before we finish this uh, tacos um, variables, we need to go actually get a taco. So I'm going to go way down here to the Sprites button. I'm going to choose a Sprite. I'm going to go all the way down to Taco. There it is right there. The taco, taco is awfully big, so I'm gonna make them really small. I'm gonna make them 40%. Perfect, right there. And now we're gonna code the taco to forever glide to a random position. So I'm gonna go get a green flag, and remember I'm on the taco right now. Green flag, make that a bit bigger for you at home or school, wherever you happen to be working. When the green flag is clicked, forever glide to a random position. So glide to a random position, and I'm going to get a forever, uh, forever. And I also want him to start at a random position. So let's do that too. So at the beginning of the game, he goes somewhere random. I don't know where he's going to go, but green flag is going to go to a random place. And then forever glide to a random place. Let's see if the taco works. Ready? Green flag. Good. He's gliding all over the place. Wonderful. Now, when we touch the taco, let's change our point. So we get a point, and the taco is just going to change color effect, okay? So let me go get another green flag. I'm just going to pause. This is a bit distracting. Okay, another green flag. When the green flag is clicked, um, 
if touching Taylor. See, that's Taylor. If he's touching Taylor, if, if, if. So if, right there. If touching Taylor, touching is a sense, it's in the sensing, touching, slide that right in or let go. If touching, yeah, I better move this over so we have more space as so we can see it. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. If touching Taylor, if touching Taylor, then change the points. So I'm going to go to variables, change tacos by one. So we get a point. And I wanted the computer to check this forever. So forever check to see if touching Taylor. If he is touching Taylor, change the taco points by one. Let's see if that works. Ready? Green flag and go. Come on. Oh, it is touching Taylor. But look, the points went up like crazy. I already got 22 points and he only got touched twice. I have a little trick for that. You know, the computer is really quick. The computer, when it goes over Taylor, it touches, it counts 100 times a second. So that's why the numbers go up. But instead of that um, going up so quickly, I'm just going to change it by getting a wait. Wait one second is a little bit too long. So I'm going to make it a number smaller than one second. Maybe 0 0.5, a half a second. So now green flag. See when it touches Taylor, the points change a little bit slower. Perfect. So I'm going to pause right there and let you code the taco now. So go down to choose a sprite. Find the taco. I made the taco a lot smaller, 40%. And then when the green flag is clicked, the taco should go to a random place and then forever glide to a random place. And then get another green flag and have the computer forever check to see if the taco is touching Taylor. And if the taco is touching Taylor, change the taco points by one and wait 0 0.5 so the points don't go so quickly. Hey, I'm going to leave this right here. If you get stuck, look at my code. And uh, when you're ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting for you. All right, now let's go get a jellyfish, the dangerous jellyfish. So I'm going to go down to the sprites button right down here. I'm going to find the jellyfish. There it is right there. Oh, the jellyfish is awfully big again, so I'm going to make it a bit smaller. I'm going to make the jellyfish 50%. There we go. Now we're going to code the jellyfish almost exactly the same as we did the taco. So, green flag. Um, go to a random position. Go to a random position at the beginning. And then forever glide to a random position. Forever, motion button, glide to a random position. So the jellyfish is also gliding all over the place. You don't want to get hit by the jellyfish because you're going to lose points. So now let's code the jellyfish so that you lose points. Uh, another green flag right there. Um, if, if, if touching Taylor, if, I go to the sensing, touching uh, Taylor, change your variable, change tacos by negative one. So you're going to lose a point. Change taco points by negative one, minus one. And then the computer should check this forever. So when the green flag is clicked, forever check to see if touching Taylor. And if the jellyfish is touching Taylor, the, you should lose one taco point. So let's just double check it. Ready? And go. Okay. Taco should get a point. Jellyfish should lose a point. Okay, I just got a point for touching the taco. And I lost a bunch of points for uh, the jellyfish. Oh yes, we forgot to do one thing. I'm going to put a little bit of a weight right in there. So I'm going to grab the weight one second. And instead of one second, I'm going to make it 0 0.5. So if touching Taylor, change tacos by minus one and wait 0 0.5 before checking again. Hey, we forgot one thing. I'm going to change the color effect as well. So if the jellyfish does touch Taylor, we're going to change the color effect. So I'm going to go to the looks button, change color effect, and I'm just going to put that in just before the wait. See, change taco points, change color, and then wait. I'm also going to do that for the tacos, change the color effect. So change color effect, I'm just going to put that right in there. So I'm just going to go back to the jellyfish so you can look at the code. Hey, if you get stuck, please take a peek up here. 
Otherwise, we're almost done, and I uh, appreciate your patience. Uh, I'll see you when you're ready for the next part. All right, last part. Now that we've coated the jellyfish just right, I'm going to duplicate the jellyfish so it's a little bit of a harder game. Two jellyfish, one toggle. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my mouse pointer on the jellyfish right there. I'm going to put two fingers on the touchpad and duplicate. Now there's two jelly, dangerous jellyfish floating around uh, that are trying to catch you. Um, I'm also going to go back to Taylor. And I'm going to have Taylor give some quick instructions before the game starts um, so that people know how to play. I'm just going to make this a bit smaller. Whoops. There we go. And I'm going to have him say something. So I'm going to grab the say sec for two seconds, maybe right there. And I'm going to have him say something like this. Um, catch the taco, not the jellyfish. Catch the taco, not the jellyfish. And I'm going to make that for five seconds because no one can read that fast. So catch the taco, not the jellyfish. Um, let's see how that works. Ready? Well, that's good, except everything's moving around while he's explaining and you're losing points. I don't like that. So look what I'm going to do. Before these things start moving, I'm just going to have them pause. When we hit the green flag, I'm going to have these things just pause for five seconds while Taylor explains the game. So Taylor's talking for five seconds at the beginning. So I'm going to go to the taco, and I'm going to have the taco wait for five seconds before he starts uh, moving forever. So wait for five seconds before he starts gliding all over the place. I'm going to go to the jellyfish. I'm going to have the jellyfish wait for five seconds before forever gliding uh, to random positions. And I'm going to go to the last jellyfish, and I'm going to have him wait for five seconds before he starts gliding all over the place. So let's see how that looks. So these should all be frozen for five seconds while Taylor explains, and then everything starts moving. Ready, green flag, and go. Oh good, nothing is moving. Uh, Taylor's explaining the game, and then we begin. Great, okay, great. Trying to catch the talk as much as possible. Yikes, before the timer runs out. Hey everybody. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that game. It's a fun one. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at our final activity, which you're going to enjoy a lot. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thanks.